What's up everybody and welcome back to another Division PTS video. And today we're going to do some maths on the brand new named Der LMG that is currently in the PTS. And I think this one might win the award for the best weapon that they are adding this patch. Unless there is anything that we don't know about. Perhaps like the exotic gloves in my previous video. I'll drop the link in down below in the description so we'll take a quick look at this it's uh the dirt lmg i do think it's better than the blue screen lmg and that's for a number of reasons there is a uh, 224 in the mag insane uh, and you can make that more if you really want to it clocks in at 750 rpm with uh, 87k total damage absolutely insane and if you really want to see the base damage uh, you can see that there as well. There you go, the 40k base damage there. Uh, at the moment, I don't have it leveled up and I've not actually made all of the attributes max, but you can see LMG damage, damage to target out of cover, and the attribute here at the bottom is magazine size, which obviously accounts for why I've got the, the 227 in there. But you would probably roll this to you know, damage to armor uh, instead, let's face it. Uh, then we're looking at the, the talent, the perfect flatline, amplifies weapon damage by 20% to pulsed enemies. After two kills, applies pulse to the next enemy you hit. Uh, now, I did do another video, uh, which I'll link again down below in the description, on the assault rifle, the Kingbreaker, which has the same talent. Now, this one actually falls flat. Uh, it's just not very competitive when it comes to the AR category. Uh, even with what looks like a really, really good talent. Now, with the dirt, it's a little bit more difficult because with this one, we can't add the linked laser pointer to keep that talent up all the time uh, from the technician class. And we can do that with the assault rifle. So automatically, this one comes with a few extra challenges. But we've got to give it a go because it's got a huge RPM and a huge magazine in it. So... First of all, I did some numbers, which I'll throw up on the screen now. And I've compared it to an M1A because I've been talking on Twitter today that I really feel like the division with its new patch, new year, needs a change of meta. The M1A is still king. No matter how more versatile builds become, the M1A all red build is still king. And you can see with that build just getting more powerful, with this next patch that just happening again so i've run the numbers against what technically is the best gun in the game i've excluded talents i've excluded reload speed i've stripped these numbers right back just to give us a very basic idea of how good the dur lmg actually is uh, and because obviously this hits for such a low damage number uh, but with a high rpm you can see some really big scaling differences right off the bat on the m1a we're at 973 4891 on a non-crit headshot but then on the lmg we're at only 171828 huge difference on a crit headshot we're on 2021.8621 but then we're only on 3.41938 but this is expected right because we've got a low rpm versus a, a high rpm non-crit body shot 4992252 and then a non-crit body shot which is 85914. And then a crit body shot on the M1A, 11032877. And a crit body shot with the LMG, 256024. Now I'm going to preference this. This is taking in no damage talents whatsoever. I'm literally taking the weapon damage, the crit chance, the crit damage, and the headshot. And that is the only damage factors I'm taking in. But what you can see is when we go to the RPM and we'll use the much smaller ones, we'll use the rounds per second, you can see they're actually really close to each other. So the rounds per second on a non-crit headshot comes out at 292 on the M1A to 214 on the LMG. And then at 606 on the M1A and 427 on the LMG. 149 for a non crit body shot on the M1A, as you can see, and a 107 on a non crit body shot, and then 330 on a crit body shot on the M1A, and a 320 really close on the crit body shot. Now, 
obviously when you start factoring in you know the it's got 200 and 200 rounds in the in the lmg you so you're going to be reloading far less if you can get perfect flat line up and get 20 percent to pulse enemies you know again really really nice it's not going to be as good as rifleman but you're just going to be so fast at pounding bullets off it's going to be really really good and if we flip back to to looking at it mods wise uh, it comes with critical hit chance on the score which is that one critical hit damage on the flash underneath we've got more critical hit chance we can put on here so then we can put more critical hit damage on our gear and then on the magazine you know i put critical hit damage i don't need an extra 20 rounds in it just give me some more crit damage now, the unfortunate thing with this, although I'm saying damage numbers are really, really, really good, is procking the talent, which means we're going to have to come away from Glass Cannon. We're perhaps going to have to come away from Vigilant. And they're all the extra damage stats that add to the M1A to make it even better than, than what it is. So, unfortunately, we're probably not going to be running a Glass Cannon kind of build with this because of the pulse. Unless you choose to just after two kills it applies the pulse and then you get the weapon damage maybe maybe not but it's really strong it's absolutely like a laser like there is no recoil in this thing whatsoever i can show you that really really quickly uh, but i think as far as weapons added this one is definitely going to be the most interesting one and it's damage stats does seem really 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 good obviously it's not a you know an m1a replacement i don't think anyone was ever expecting it to be it's an lmg but it's just an absolute laser i'm just ever so slightly pulling down on my mouse to keep that keep that in line so i think the dur lmg is uh, really really good i think it's probably the best gun with possibilities that are being added this time around I've done reviews for the blue screen. I have also done reviews for the Dread as well. So if you want to check them out. And also I did the math for the Kingbreaker. Uh, if you want to check them out, they're on my channel. I'll put them in the description down below. Uh, but I think all of them ones all need some work yet. But this one actually could bring some really, really nice possibilities to the game. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope it all made sense. If it didn't, Hit me down below in the comments or come and check me out over on Twitch. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching everybody. Goodbye.